In this video, we'll look at question 47 from the specimen paper. Here we have a quadratic equation with a constant a, and we are supposed to say for which values of a uh, there are distinct real solutions to this equation. So we just subtract 2 from both sides, and this is now a quadratic equation. To see how many real solutions there are, we need to consider the discriminant. So in this quadratic equation, the coefficient a equals our constant a, then the coefficient b is a minus 2, and uh, the constant coefficient is a negative 2. Here is a reminder of the formula for the determinant of a quadratic. That's b squared minus 4ac, where a, b, c, a are these um, co the coefficients. And when we plug the numbers, or the, these values in, uh, we get an expression like that. And uh, we can further simplify this as a squared plus 4a plus 4. So how does the discriminant um, relate to the number of real solutions to, of a quadratic equation? Well, if it's zero, there's one real solution. If it's less than zero, then there are no real solutions. And if it's larger than zero, then there will be two real solutions. And we want two real solutions, so we need this um, expression here to be strictly positive. So when does that happen? Um, we recognize that this is a plus 2, the whole sum squared. And when is this square um, strictly larger than zero? Well, it will be for all of real numbers, except for when uh, the expression is equal to zero, because then zero squared equals zero, and that's not greater than zero. So for all a except that a uh, equals negative two, there will be two real solutions to that quadratic equation. And in the exam, that was option D.